Yeah. All right, Graphic Ramblers here today with industry legend Richard Starkings. I'm a legend, a legend. Yes. Uh, Portrait of a legend. <laughs> Uh, you're here today, it looks like promoting Elephant Man. Uh, would you like to tell us a little about it? Um, it's, uh, it's an image comic book. It's been running now, we'll be in our 10th year next year. It's the story of human-animal hybrids designed to fight a war between Africa and China. A terrible and bloody war is fought, but they're defeated, rehabilitated, and now they live amongst us. Hated and feared, trapped in a world they never made. It's a little bit Blade Runner, it's a little bit Taxi Driver, it's a little bit Battlestar Galactica, it's a little bit Star Wars, it's a little bit of everything that you love. That sounds amazing. That does sound like everything I love, actually. <laughs> so, it's got androids, it's got uh, <laughs> the beautiful women who love the elephant men. It's got <laughs> dystopias. What would you say your main influences on the book are? Uh, everything I've ever watched, read, seen, <laughs> or enjoyed. I don't think anybody can answer any differently. That's uh, fair. You know, it, it has been compared to Blade Runner because Blade Runner is my favorite film. Alien is also one of my favorite Some films. Very good choices. You know, it's, uh, I actually <laughs> lean towards the dark side of those science fiction movies. Uh, I'm a big fan of Philip K. Dick. Uh, I'm a big fan of Doctor Who. Uh, I've worked on the Doctor Who comic books. I've worked in Marvel UK, 2000 AD I grew up on, which is, you know, the home of Judge Dredd. You've heard of Judge Dredd, right? Yeah. Just a Come on. Bit, yeah. That's the Lone movie from the 90s, yeah. right? Oh, I'm the Lone! And also the very good version, Dredd, featuring Carl Urban. So, um, you know, it's the comic book that I would have wanted to read when I was a teenager. Everybody should make a comic book for themselves. You, you're basically sending yourself a gift back from the future. Also one of my favorite movies. <laughs> <laughs> See what I did there? This sounds amazing. You're amateurs. Keep, come on, come on. <laughs> um, how did you end up getting into the industry? Uh, I read an article in a anthology magazine called Warrior. It was the home of Miracle Man or Marvel Man as we knew it then. And they talked about how to get into comics, which is what I wanted to do, and they uh, suggested that one way to get in was to be a lettering artist. So I, knew, I was good at lettering, I knew I was good at lettering, um, so I started sending my samples to British comic book publishers. I got little bits of work here and there, and then I was doing regular work on Transformers, Doctor Who, um, uh, what else did I do back then? I worked on um, Halo Jones, which is an Alan Moore series for 2000 AD. Robo Hunter, Ace Trucking, all great uh, short stories because 2000 AD was a weekly anthology. And I got a reputation and that led me to doing detective comics with Alan Davis. At the same time, I got The Killing Joke with Brian Bolland and Alan Moore, and that opened the door to the American comic book industry. I moved out here in 1989, and uh, I lived in New York, and I went to the offices every day. I was good, good friends with Greg Wright, who was an editor over there. We'd become friends when I was on a visit from Marvel UK, because I worked in editorial at Marvel UK for five years and edited a lot of books aimed at the American market, Death's Head, Dragon's Claws, Sleaze Brothers, Goodleum, they're great. And, um, you know, ultimately built uh, uh, regular work over here, and then I revolutionized the comic book industry with yeah. digital comic book lettering. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and I wrote a book about it, now available this, year, this oh. month's previews. Sweet. October 2015, <laughs> just for the just for the latecomers on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to check that yeah. out. Thank you so much for talking to us today. This is okay. amazing. You're probably my favorite letterer. <laughs> so uh, thank you so much for taking the time. Well, to talk if you about. only read Elephant Man, I could be your favorite writer as I well. I know. Uh, well, now I'm going to read Elephant Man. Excellent. I've been going to. I'm just always broke. Where's your 30 so. bucks? I know. Let's get this now. <laughs> I had this up tonight, so I want to show up. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you want to sign it off? Um, I 
That's the Graphic Ramblers with Richard Starkings. Oh my god! They don't ramble very much, they let me ramble. <laughs> no, that's, that's the point. Exactly. <laughs> you need to do more research. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Graphic Ramblers, signing off guys. Woo!